you look at their uh, revenue sources, um, these are basically pretty much from the game uh, operations. Uh, so they're using the multi-platform such as online. 80% uh, of the revenue comes from there. The mobile is 15.86, console is 1.77. So uh, clearly their revenues are all generated from the uh, game publishing. Um, so I think that if they focused on that and they were trying to come up with the new games uh, that can be very successful, I mean, so far they came out with a Terra and the, the Battleground, which is the most uh, attractive ones that everybody plays. And then and, uh, and uh, there are only three major games that so far has been successful. Uh, obviously, they need to come up with a better uh, list of the games, obviously, for uh, the multiple to expand. Uh, if they're trying to enter other areas, uh, then clearly uh, that is, is going to cost them. Uh, and whether or not they'll be successful in terms of the other businesses within the entertainment, uh, that is something ha we have to wait and see. Uh, I think sure. that people will be more of a reluctant rather to play this, uh, this company uh, or invest into this company before they show they have done a good major m &As. They haven't shown any yet. So I think that what exactly. you need is Not that. Yet. Uh, yes. Uh, so I think that the, in terms of the shelf price wise, I, I'm not saying that this multiple is very expensive uh, because if you look at the okay. cost stack average uh, service industry, uh, including the game industry, the average P multiple is about 90 times, uh, whereas this company is right now, it's only about uh, 30 times or less. So clearly it's cheaper. Got it. So but the multiple, mark, not so high but it's really about the future growth prospect. Uh, sorry right. to cut you off, but I do want to get this last question in. You mentioned low rate environment that is working as a favorable factor for South Korea IPO markets so far. What happens in next year? Because what I see next year is less dovish or hawkish, be okay. Is that going to change the story for South Korea IPO market? Uh, yes, I think they will be much more selective. Um, but in terms of the interest rate environment itself, uh, if you look at the U.S. 10-year uh, interest rate, uh, it's at 1.3. Uh, most likely will go up to above 2% over the next several, a uh, couple of years, I guess. Uh, if that's the case, then Korea's interest rate right now at around 1.8, uh, 1.9% will go up to about 3%. So that's uh, quite significantly higher, but nevertheless, still that is very low interest rate environment. Uh, and therefore, we think that the liquidity itself is not going to be that much taken away. Uh, so the continuation of interest towards the IPOs and the equity market will remain, but nevertheless, it's going to be much less than what we've seen this year.